Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a really fun project to share with you that I was sent to try out and I'm so excited. Um, so it came in the mail today and we're going to open it together. So we're going to go, well, this way with the box. Can you see what's in there? Let me cut this. Let me take it out of this box. We'll do that. So I can show you what it is. So it is from Babylon Leather. It is Unleash Your Creativity. Experience the life of handmade. It is a handmade purse, right? You order it from the company. It comes not together. You have to build it. So you get your shipping list. There's a pony pendant. Um, this is supposed to be, I think, a play on Hermes, which I love. I think that is fantastic. It's just a, a bag charm. So we're gonna open it up here. And you guys, we're doing this together. I have not looked at any of the materials or supplies. But from what I'm told, it comes with everything we need to build this purse. So, and it is leather from what I'm told. So we have these, oh, it's soft. This is a navy blue and it has a texture to it. I don't really know what any of this is until I read the directions, but it all has to get glued. Well, these get, looks like they get glued in or sewed in. We have all the pieces, right, that we're gonna need and then all the materials. So, my plan is to put it in a bag, right, so I don't lose anything. <laughs> That's plan number one. So, the two zippers, and these are beautiful, guys. Look at that. Look at that zipper. I mean, that is a good quality zipper right there. So, you get the zip. Oh, yep. It must be sticky. Okay, we'll close that back up. So, you get two zippers. I think these are interior pockets. Just all the different pieces, the top, the bottom. It's so soft. And the good thing that I'm seeing is that the holes are all punched into this leather, so I don't have to do that, right? Which is the good part. So we're gonna put these pieces in here. This They may not fit in this bag, but we're gonna hope for the best, and they do. They fit in here and then, oops, that's another piece. And this is straps. I'll leave them protected. Okay. I don't need to bring that with me. Because this is portable. That's the beauty of all of this. It is very portable. So this just talks about contact information and all that. And it'll be in the description box below. If you want to scan that QR code right there. It'll show you the tutorial, which I will watch. And then in this bag here, we got, I chose these two. These are Twillies that you put on the purse. I liked the fall color for decoration. So you get, I don't know what this cording is. Um, buttons, it looks like, or snaps. Oh, that's the closure for the purse, right? Here's your closure. Needles in a fair amount. A binder clip. Screwdriver. Thread, little thread nippers. I went with the blue thread to match the bag. And I think these are the, this is the hardware. So you get some feet. Oh, and these are rubber fingers that you wear to do the threading. But this is all the hardware. So it comes with everything you need, including a video tutorial. I don't know if I love these scissors, so I will probably pack a better pair that I already own. 
put the needles, put this in here, put all of this together. And then when I get ready to start this project, I will bring you along with me. Oops, sorry. I'll bring you along. So everything fits in this little project bag and I will be bringing that with me. All right, stay tuned. All right, just sitting here working on this purse. Let me show you where I'm at. This is such a fun kit, guys. Totally Christmas gift for somebody who's a crafter in your life. All the holes are there for you. You just have to follow the video and so long. So fun, so rewarding. All right. There's the video that tells me how to do it. I'm just following along. So fun. Alrighty, friends. We are at the end of this craft purse. So long. And I do want to share with you some thoughts that I have. I'm not quite done. I still need to strap or stitch these straps onto the handle. So that's the last thing I need to do. Um, I did make one boo-boo on the back side. I think I miscounted, but I'm not too worried about it. If you are, definitely. There's plenty of material for me to rip it out and try again. Um, yeah, I mean, you get plenty of thread. I made a few mistakes, tore it out, started over, and I had plenty of thread, um, plenty of needles. I didn't break any, but if I did break some, I still have, showing you what I got left here. I mean, I still have one, one, two, three, four, five, six needles to continue with. These were a lifesaver when you were stitching together multiple layers. So down here, at one point, it was like six layers of leather. Now, I will say fantastic. The holes line up. Don't force it. You know, just um, find the hole. If you need to back it out, back it out. But if you force it, because it's leather, you're going to be able to pierce through. And then you're not going to have an even look to your bag when you're doing these little areas. These little side pockets are awesome. On the inside, um, there's plenty of room for all the things I would like to carry. The I went with the gold, but I believe they have silver. So plenty of these little finger things, they go on like this. And they help you grip the needle, but it also protects your fingers. My fingers got a little sore uh, by my own doing. I also have glitter everywhere up here. So I'll keep these. I'm not quite done yet, so I need to keep all my materials together. The scissors were fine, except for I would use a better pair of scissors when you have to trim any of the leather strapping at the bottom. I mean, they were fine, but I just found my own scissors easier. Um, I did want a couple extra binder clips. I don't know where the pink one is that came with the kit, but... I wanted a couple extra of those. You even get a little screwdriver. Now again, my hands were sore by the end, so I found it easier just to get a normal size screwdriver, but that's on me. And then at one point I needed to push these little metal pieces through here and it was a little bit of a tight fit. So I found that a rubber mallet worked well, just a couple light bangs and it went right on. You do need your own lighter, so keep that in mind. Um, and then I just kept everything together in a little bag here. Oh, here's one other binder clip that I found. And then I did get this fun little horse as a bag charm, because this, after all, is supposed to mimic a Hermes. So I need to sew my straps on. Now here's my little things that I will say. For one, make sure you're not forcing the needle through any of the holes. You really just want to go through the holes that are provided and it all lines up really well. On the bottom, when you're stitching this piping, you're, you're stitching it inside out and you just need to go one hole at a time, just slow and surely one hole at a time. You're going to start, see, I need to fix that. You're going to start back here. You're going to go up around the end and over to here and then you're going to repeat it around that end for this specific bag. Now, um, the, my contact with the company, Babylon, did tell me this is a little more of a 
I don't have to say advanced, but he did say it was a little more of an advanced stitch. There's a lot to it. Um, if I have the opportunity again, maybe I'll get something a little easier next time. Um, I love the detail. So on the bottom, you know, you have your, um, your feet that screw in and then there's a clear plastic that protects it. I mean, the detail is just fantastic. Literally everything you could possibly need. I think this will be a fantastic Christmas gift for anybody on your list that likes to do any kind of crafting. Let me see if I can get you some close up shots. I mean, the leather is beautiful. It smells good. It's great quality. Everything is punched where it should be. Now, the zippers, again, that's a little more on you. You do have to measure out your zipper spacing when you're sewing the top together. I don't think I did terribly. This is a designed bag that will go, it'll sink in the middle, which is, again, why I'm not overly concerned about this little pucker in the back. Um, and it is designed that way. So when you do that in the middle, then your snap goes on properly. You've got your double zips. I think for security, you can slide these straps into your middle here and then lock them in place. I mean, locking, turning that, but it's just easier so it doesn't accidentally come unzipped or something. But yeah, I think it's great. I love this bag. Highly recommend this whole project. I'll fix it. I know I'm judging myself. I don't know where I went awry. On one of these corners is probably, I'm going to say it's this one over here. I'm off somewhere in here by two stitches. And I only know that now from looking at it because my inside lining is a little wrinkled. So somewhere down in this corner right here, I think, I'm off. So I'll rip it out and fix it at a later date. But for now, that is everything. I hope you enjoy. And if you have somebody on your list that you think would enjoy, check my description box below. Um, these kits are available. And like I said, they come with everything. Oh, I like this one here. That's pretty. I saw some ones I really liked to try. But yeah, a little mini Birkin. How fun. All right, guys. If you want to check them out, there's a QR code. Or you just go on YouTube and you can watch some sewing tutorials. All right, I hope you enjoy. Bye.